hi and welcome to this channel in this video we are talking about SHA1 the difference between release and debug when you are developing an application and you are testing the application on your phone or your emulator you use the debug version of build in the Android studio and if you are using for example the Firebase authentication service and Google authentication you should have your SHA1 inside your project setting for the Firebase authentication using Google to work this is the debug version of SHA1 here I have a new Flutter application and if I go to the Android section and I right click and I go to Flutter open Android module in Android Studio I select new window and here in the Gradle section in Android in tasks in Android signing report if I double click on the signing report I get the SHA1 for debug which is this one you just copy this one and paste in your Firebase project setting but if I want to release the app and publish the app in the App Store I, I'm going to need the release version of SHA1 so here if we check there is no release version this one is debug this one is test this one is test this one is release but the configuration is debug so there is no release ver version of SHA1 for you to access and generate the release version inside the Android Studio you change the view to project and then you right click on Android and you select open module setting here inside the modules and you select the app and here inside the signing config you have debug click on the plus sign to add a signing config we call this for example release now we have the release config we have to specify store file store password key alias key password what are these settings these are settings for your key store key store is your key for signing the application it is a way that tells Google that this app comes from you and not someone else it's a way to authenticate your app so how do we generate the key store for now I'm going to cancel this and then we go to build generate signed bundle APK I select APK next key store path where I want to save my key store here I'm going to store it in desktop and then I'm going to give it a name my release key store and then I hit OK now you have to specify password for your key store the password should be six characters long and you should choose alias any alias you can choose I'm going to keep this one and password for your key again this one should be also six characters long and then you can fill up this information for example okay now I'm going to click OK and then you have key store password and alias and key password you click next here is going to generate APK file for you you select release and finish so now we created our key store if we go back and right click on the Android and go to op open module setting in the app and in signing config okay let's wait for the Android studio to finish building APK okay now here we are going to add a new signing config for example release and here I'm going to give it the path to my key store and I enter the password my alias which was key 0 and the key password and I hit OK 
again we are going to open module setting and we go to build variants and we select release here we go down to signing config here we select the release that we created and I hit OK now let's generate the signing report again here I have debug debug for the debug version and I have release and release and it shows me the release key store and alias and my SHA1 so I'm going to use this one for my Firebase authentication using Google sign in I add the fingerprint and I add the release version if you don't add the SHA1 for release version and you go and you publish your app then the authentication does not work because the Google doesn't recognize the app that you published because you generated the APK in the release mode instead of the debug mode so in this way you can generate your SHA1 for release and you can go ahead with the submission and publishing your app in the Google Play Store it is also super duper important to store your key store this file in a safe place make sure you do not lose this file if you lose this file when you publish your app in the Google Play Store and then you update your app you have to sign it with the same key store if you lose it you have to delete your app entirely from the Google Play Store and publish a new app this happened to me so please be careful with your key store and store them in a safe place so that's it for this video I hope it was useful please subscribe for more videos I will see you in the next one